If there's one thing we know for certain, it's that life is full of friends, lovers, and the big terrible things, and not just for us common folk, but also for stars who almost seem far away from reality, until they're not. And this realization hit us harder than ever when Matthew Perry revealed how he almost died after his colon burst from opioid overuse. Let's look more into his journey. For starters, did we almost lose Chandler, the literal king of sarcasm, the man who taught us what humor was supposed to be like, the most perfect husband, the most loyal friend, Chandler Bing, was all this and so much more for us. Even now, if we were to ask anyone who their favorite friend's character was, most people would tell us, obviously, Chandler. And we loved him so much, mostly because even on our darkest days, the man could bring a smile to our faces. To put it simply, Chandler Bing said, I'll be there for you. And he was, he really was. But in a recent interview, Matthew Perry revealed some rather upsetting insights sight about his own darkest days and the things that got him through. For those of you who didn't know already, Perry struggled with addiction issues that almost cost his life and would have cost us this gem of a human being. It hurts our hearts to admit that this man, who shone so brightly on our screens, felt so dark on the inside. On his darkest days, he resorted to fill that void with substances until they almost consumed him fully. Following this, let's get into the big terrible things Matthew had to deal with. If you're wondering why why we keep making that reference, then you need to stop living under a rock and get with the times. No, really, anyone who claims to be a fan of Perry, or just friends overall, should know that Matthew Perry recently poured his heart and soul into an autobiography called Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Things. He admitted that this one was hard to pin down. We don't really blame him. He's someone who is known for emulating Chandler's energy in real life. It almost feels as if the part was written for him. Some days, it becomes hard to tell where where Chandler begins and Perry ends, and where Perry begins and Chandler ends. There's just so much overlap. And what this means is that Perry is known for his good-humored nature and his witty comebacks. For someone like him to sit down and write a candid, gut-wrenching, and honest account of his life is the biggest deal. Also, given the number of hardships this powerhouse of a man has seen in his life, we can only imagine the toll it took when he had to revisit some of those moments. But alas, Matthew believes in full transparency. He really didn't want anyone else to have to experience what he did, so we talked about his journey and his struggle in the book. This was done hoping it might just end up saving a life. What a hero, right? Coming up, how did Perry crawl up from rock bottom? Do you remember when Chandler once said in one friend's episodes that he wants to start drinking in the morning and that was his goal? Perhaps Perry took that a little too literally, because at what point he did day drink and drink during the night and at every other point in the day. Things seemed bleak for Matthew because alcohol was just one of his addictions. All of this started back when he was merely just starting out at 24. In less than a decade, the man had become fully enslaved to intoxication. We're not judging him at all here because addiction was an illness. It was his kryptonite. No matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't break the chains of alcoholism that had bound his feet. And he tried hard. He went to rehab more than a dozen times. He was fully sober during the ninth season of Friends and was, therefore, able to win the Best Actor award. But each time he quit, one thing or another just dragged him back. It was only after he experienced one of the most terrifying near-death moments of his life did he finally decide that it was time he let go. This was four years ago. At 49, Perry almost lost his life when the excessive intake of opioids made his colon burst. Yikes, that would have been an explosive way to go. Not to be insensitive, but we had to neuter it down with the grim humor. Up next, his journey to the breakthrough. Sometimes even the darkest of moments end up helping us in the long run. This near-death event was genuinely terrifying for Perry and his loved ones, but it changed his life in a way that made him appreciate it more. The thing is, we forget to value things until we lose them or risk losing them. And that's what happened with Perry. The doctors had given up on him. They said he had a 2% chance to live. The odds were certainly not in his favor. In fact, out of the five people taken to the ER during that time, Perry was the only one who made it. Seems straight out of a movie, right? But this happened, and it was very much real. So real that Perry started looking at his life as a blessing. 
and a gift. This was life giving him a second chance, and he fully intended on taking it. Though Perry has chosen to not reveal how long he has been sober, he clarified that every day counts, and he's on a journey that's only bound to go upwards from here on. Let's pay our respects to this legend by looking at some of our favorite Chandler moments. First, Chandler in a bath. Come on, this has got to be one of the sweetest, most wholesome, and bubbly, literally, moments in the history of television. Everyone loves to see men being vulnerable and soft, and even though the humor was Chandler's coping mechanism, he did occasionally let his guard down. It all started in an episode of season 8, with Chandler judging Monica for spending too long in her bathtub. But of course, he didn't fully understand the appeal until he tried it for himself. And we admit, it was quite funny and wholesome to see Chandler give in to his diva side and let loose like that. Definitely one of our fave vulnerable Chandler moments. Next, when he asked Monica to marry him. Uh, all the moments in which Chandler was on screen are our favorites, and it's so hard to pick just a few, but alas, we must. And if we must choose, then this must be on the list. The proposal was very much Chandler style. Cute, comical, and oh so chaotic. Remember how he tried to pretend that he was not interested in marrying Monica, and when he almost lost her to Richard? You. And then created a whole panic-induced mess, which he tried very hard to clean up. But in the end, Monica being Monica took charge and proposed instead. We know who wears the pants in that relationship. <laughs> but the way Chandler melted and fell to his knees, and the heartfelt proposal that followed it, we refuse to get married until someone gives us that kind of speech. Chandler has set the are too high. Moving on, Chandler in lipstick. When it came to being a good friend, no one did it better than Mr. Bing. His friendship with Joey became the epitome of how we wanted to be with our bros. The dynamic duo won our hearts each time they shared the screen. But of course, Chandler messed up sometimes. He was only human after all. But do you all remember that one time when he didn't watch a commercial? Joey asked him to watch, and then he was caught lying and to make it up to Joey, this man legit wore blue lipstick and called himself a pretty little girl. Chandler challenged all notions of toxic masculinity by putting his loyalty above all, and we loved to see it. We could never. Lastly, the last one. Oh, and of course, how can we forget the last episode of the season? The show ended on the perfect note, and what made it perfect was Chandler's immaculate timing. In the last episode, when the friends suggested they should go for coffee one last time, Chandler cheekily asked, where? And for all our loyal fans, the question was rhetorical. But the bittersweet irony of the moment made it so memorable. Especially because the season began with Chandler making a witty joke, and it ended with another one of his witty jokes. Chandler made the show come full circle, and there couldn't have been a more fitting way to end the series. Literally, the reason we love Chandler is that he knows what to say, even in the saddest of moments. This man once again made a smile from behind the tears. It's safe to say Chandler Bing would never be forgotten. That's a wrap for today, folks. Let us know about your favorite Chandler moments in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.